Boris Johnson will recall Parliament this week from its summer recess for an emergency session to discuss the ongoing crisis in Afghanistan. A Downing Street source confirmed Prime Minister Boris Johnson is expected to look to recall MPs early from their summer recess to discuss the escalating situation in Afghanistan. Daily Mirror Online political editor Dan Bloom tweeted, Sources confirm Parliament will sit at 9.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. on Wednesday. It will likely be a statement followed by a debate. Both the SNP's Westminster leader Ian Blackford and Labour Party leader Sir Keir Starmer had urged an early recall of Parliament. Sir Keir said, The situation in Afghanistan is deeply shocking and seems to be worsening by the hour. The immediate priority now must be to get all British personnel and support staff safely out of Kabul. The government has been silent while Afghanistan collapses, which let's be clear will have ramifications for us here in the Ukwe need parliament recalled so the government can update MPs on how it plans to work with allies to avoid a humanitarian crisis and a return to the days of Afghanistan being a base for extremists whose purpose will be to threaten our interests, values and national security. Mr Johnson has been facing increasing calls to make a last-ditch intervention to stop the complete collapse of Afghanistan as Taliban fighters entered the outskirts of Kabul. In a sign of the urgent nature of the situation, arrangements were reportedly being made to fly the British ambassador Sir Laurie Bristow out of the country. It had previously been intended he would remain at a secure location at Kabul airport along with other international diplomats. However, helicopters were seen landing at the U.S. Embassy to transport the remaining personnel. There has been growing frustration in the U.K. among many MPs that Afghanistan was being abandoned to its fate. Tom Tugendhat, the chairman of the Commons Foreign Affairs Committee, warned it was the biggest single foreign policy disaster since Suez. Defense Committee Chairman Tobias Elwood said despite the decision from U.S. President Joe Biden to withdraw America's remaining troops from the impacted regions, he insisted an urgent intervention to reverse the situation can still be made. He is calling for the deployment of the Royal Navy Carrier Strike Group to the region and is urging Mr. Johnson to convene an emergency conference of like-minded nations. Mr. Elwood told Times Radio, I plead with the Prime Minister to think again. We have an ever-shrinking window of opportunity to recognize where this country is going as a failed state.